So I just took the time to make this a uh, really cool scene and then realized that this doesn't work at all because number one, this room is so small that for me to put my camera as far back against the wall, I still have to crouch down because my lens is so big. And on top of that, my microphone's all the way up here and I can't move it because it's bolted to the back of my desk and it's stuck behind my monitor. We're gonna have to find a different way to do this. Hey, what is up guys? So I usually try to stay away from doing things like reviews and giving my opinions on things because for the most part, when it comes to accessories like mice, keyboards, headsets, mics, whatever it may be, it is all up to your discretion. It's what you like, it's what you find that works for you. And just because everyone likes to use one certain product doesn't mean that it's necessarily gonna work for you. You need to find what suits your play style, what suits your hands when it comes to mice and keyboards and stuff like that. And I often, have a much different view than kind of like the mainstream look at things. For instance, I don't like the G Pro Wireless. Um, now I'm gonna go into my little mouse cam right here. I know that it's not the greatest quality, uh, but it's the only thing that I can get to work right now to show these. So these are the three mice that I have. Now up here at the top is the Razer Mamba Elite. I have had this mouse for going on two and a half to three years now. And this was by far one of my favorite mice that I have ever owned. This mouse right here, it is a wired mouse. However, the amazing thing about it is it has lasted me forever. The only reason that I have had any issues with this mouse and the only issue I've ever had with it is the actual cord has frayed significantly. Uh, this cord has had a lot of issues because it rubs up against the back of my desk. I didn't have it properly um, I didn't have the cord properly laid out and it kept rubbing against the back of my desk. That's really my fault at the end of the day. Overall, it was a great mouse. Now, when it comes to Cyber Monday coming up and Black Friday and things like that, when you're looking on Amazon, these Mamba Elites, since they are so old, even if you're looking for the Razer Mamba Elite Wireless, you can get them really, really cheap. The Razer Mamba Elite, I believe was going for around $80, uh, the wireless version on Amazon last time I looked, and that wasn't even part of the Black Friday uh, deal. So I'm sure if you shop around, you can get it even cheaper than that. Now it is a pretty heavy mouse when you're holding it. I will put the specs for all of the mice that I have up on the screen while all this is going on. Um, but. It is a relatively heavy mouse. It has the customizable logo when you're using the Razer Synapse, a really nice mouse wheel, good triggers, and uh, buttons here on the left side for your thumb. Everything fits my hand perfectly, and out of every single mice that I, mouse that I've ever owned, this one fits my hand the best, and I absolutely love this mouse. From there, once this Razer started fraying, I went with the G Pro Wireless. Now, obviously I had seen a bunch of reviews and I heard how amazing this mouse was. People have been using it for years and absolutely love it. So I went ahead and picked up one for myself. Now this is not the super light that has recently came out. I have not actually used the super light yet. I don't plan on using the super light because of the difference between the super light and the original G Pro wireless really just has to do with the size or excuse me, the weight and not the size of the weight. Um, and for the most part, weight does not matter to me. I believe this G Pro Wireless is 80 grams. This Viper Elite is 67, I believe. Uh, I might be a little off on those. Like I said, I'll put the uh, actual numbers up on screen. My big issue with the G Pro Wireless is the feel. It fits my hand decently, but I play a bit of a claw grip when I play games like Valorant and competitive FPS shooters, and it feels very slippery to me. I understand that you can put rubber grips on the sides, um, but I don't like to add things to my mice. I like when I buy my mouse for it to be ready to be used just like it is. Um, for the most part though, it's got a really nice scroll wheel. The click buttons are very nice. I, I do know that the G Pro Wireless has had some issues when it comes to double clicking and things like that. I never had an issue with this, but I also haven't used this uh, nearly as much as other people have. Uh, same thing, it's got those two buttons on the right side. It is a little high for me. Uh, when The way that I hold my mouse, I have to kind of lift my thumb up to be able to push those buttons versus when I was using my Razer Mamba Elite, the buttons were right there. Uh, the buttons on the Mamba Elite are flat against the side. Um, so it's really easy to click those buttons and on the G Pro Wireless, they're uh, 
kind of beveled up. So you do have to kind of like move your thumb over depending on how you hold it. And then the current mouse that I use right now and is by far my favorite mouse is the Razer Viper Ultimate. Now this has a really cool looking design to it, but it's not just the look of the design. It feels really, really nice in your hand. Now again, this is how I hold my mouse. I hold it uh, very light, kind of like a, like I said, like a claw grip. And when I'm using my mouse, I really only put my fingertips on my mouse. The nice thing is these buttons on the side, you look at these buttons on the side, they are pretty far back, almost like directly in the middle, and they're farther back than the other two mice. So my thumb sits right on them. Again, it is a little high for me. The buttons are a little small compared to the Mamba Elite, but it fits really well. It's got a really nice scroll wheel. It's got really nice click buttons. Everything is, is really nice with this Mamba Elite. Again, these are all personal preference, which one you want to use, uh, what you want to buy. You don't even have to go with one of these mice. You can go with something like the Glorious O or Glorious Model D or any of those mice. There's a billion mice that you can get out there. Everything from $50 mice and cheaper to $150, $200 mice and more expensive than that. You can really get these mice at any price range and they're all going to be good and every single mice is going to be every single mouse i should say <laughs> is going to be useful for somebody um it's really just up to your personal preference now when it comes to what is best for the money you know best for the actual price i would honestly probably have to say if you're okay with going wired between these three mi three mice that i have in front of me right now that the razor mamba elite or the uh razor mamba elite wireless if you do get the wireless version it's a little extra, uh, I believe like $10, $15 extra to get the wireless version. But I think that that is my favorite mouse that I've ever used. It's a lot heavier. Uh, it's a lot heavier to use and some people may not like that. They might like to use the lighter version uh, in which I would go with the vape, uh, excuse me, uh, Razer Viper Ultimate. Um, this is by far probably my favorite mouse that I am using right now. Like I said, the G Pro, it's nice. The thing about the G Pro though, is it's just, it doesn't feel right in my hand. It feels a little slippery. And um, overall, I think I would go with the Viper Ultimate over anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned at least a little something from the video. I don't like to go and delve into the dimensions and things like that, or the DPI settings. Uh, anytime any company tells you the max DPI settings, it's completely pointless because very, very few people who play competitive games go anywhere over uh, maybe a max of 1600 DPI. And so they'll be telling you, oh, you know, our mouse goes up to 26,000, 50,000 DPI. Well, nobody's ever gonna use that and that's not, that's not useful in any way. I play on 400 DPI. So unless you're telling me that um, your mouse can go down to, you know, five DPI, you know, it, just, it doesn't make a difference to the majority of people. And then the dimensions, Looking at the numbers of dim the dimensions isn't going to tell you anything. The way that it feels in your hand is what's going to tell you whether you like the mouse or not. Uh, but like I said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I'd appreciate if you leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll be putting out more Valorant content very, very soon. And you all take it easy.